Hello there. Hello. Welcome to Pineapple and Lemon. Woo woo. Our react channel, where today we are watching the next Harry Potter in our series of ongoing Harry Potters. Never ending. It's never ending. <laughs> we have Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire today. Bum bum bum. Reading the books, this one was my favorite. Watching the movies. I don't know if I have a favorite movie, to be honest. Oh, my favorite movie is like two from now, but we'll get there. <laughs> yeah. We'll get there. Uh, we should note, this is the year of the long hair. This is the year that no one got a haircut. It's uh, just burned into this movie forever that everyone just has really long hair. This Very year. long hair. We do have a plot summary from okay. IMDb, just in case you need a little refresher. Give it to me. Harry Potter finds himself competing in a hazardous tournament between rival schools of magic, but he is distracted by recurring nightmares. What kind of <laughs> plot summary is that? I don't even remember nightmares being like a big part of this one or anything. Oh yeah, because his his scar is starting to hurt more because of his connection to Voldemort. Yeah, but I wouldn't classify that as like a big plot point. <laughs> oh, yo, okay, I'll wait until we start it. <laughs> I just remembered who's in this movie, and it's oh yeah, lots of the some lick licking person. Oh, okay, no, I wasn't thinking about him. I was oh. thinking of some other fabulous shining person. Okay, sparkly. <laughs> we'll get sparkle, sparkle. Yes, he is in this. <laughs> he is in this. All you have to say is sparkles, yeah. and everyone knows who you're referring to. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of characters in this one. Hey, it's Maddie popping in here, and we just wanted to say since we're rewatching Harry Potter in 2021, we have to apply a critical lens to all the negative comments J.K. Rowling has made about the transgender community. We both grew up reading and watching Harry Potter and have had positive experiences within the community itself, so it's really disheartening to hear that J.K. Rowling's beliefs are not inclusionary for all people. We believe that transgender people deserve to be seen and their voices to be heard, and for them to be part of the conversation. We do not condone any of the author's previous comments. The rest of this video will not be discussing Rowling's previous remarks, but will be a commentary about the movie itself. We hope to create a safe space for entertainment purposes. Thank you for watching, and we hope you enjoy the video. Oh yeah, I forgot that it starts with the, the murder. Yeah, the snake right through the. Map. Are you not a fan of CG snakes? I'm just not a fan of snakes, you know. Even one as nice as Nagini. Um, Nagini is not that <laughs> nice of a snake, and plot twist, which you don't find out till later, um, it's a person. Yeah, I don't. I've never seen that, so I don't I think, accept it. <laughs> yeah, I think that they're just like grasping. Yeah. To find connections between them. There's our boy. There's our main boy. Who's only in like this scene <laughs> yes. and the end scene. Two scenes. But like, we'll still get top credited in the credits. <laughs> you know what? Good for him. <laughs> well, he, I, I mean, you kind of have to. Yeah. <laughs> it's Amos Diggory, everyone. Works with me at the ministry. There's not a lot of people in this world that can say they've been in two huge franchises. True. Like Robert Pattinson is. <laughs> <laughs> when I rewatched the Twilight films, not too like maybe like a couple of years ago, mm -hmm. I was watching like you know what, what Robert had to work with was fine. Like I, I did, watching it, I didn't have really any issues with him. We're having a renaissance with Robert right now, so I'm on board. I'm like he can do whatever he wants because he's picking up some weird roles. Well, he's always done weird roles. Like, oh, he, did a lot, he does a lot of indie things. <laughs> oh yes. Look, they're even setting up a TARDIS idea. <laughs> I know. Bigger on the inside. It's all connected. It's just because David Tennant is in this movie. They yeah. knew. He's secretly the doctor playing Barty Crouch. <laughs> they were preparing him. Or was he preparing us? Oh. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> if it rains, you'll be the first to know. Then I won't tell you. I'll let you get drenched. Yeah, it's not like the rain is going to take that long. Like, if they're getting rained on, so are you, Lucius. <laughs> <laughs> he does not look 17. I'm sorry. He looks like a man. He looks like a big man. Yeah, I don't know why, like, they're they're trying to play him off as, like, he's maybe 16 or 17. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's just about, he, like, he's supposed to be a baby, but, like, he doesn't look like it. He looks mm -hmm. like he's in his mid-20s. <laughs> One kick and you're out? Yeah. He's it wouldn't already have got... even been that hard of a kick. It would have just been like a light run kick. Like, oh, come on. Harry's got some head trauma regardless because he's got a Voldemort living in him. 
True, 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 true. Crouch, you can't. How did I lie? You've been discovered at the scene of the- yeah. Hermione, why are you crying? What do you mean? <laughs> they almost got killed. Yeah, but like she was barely involved. <laughs> so <laughs> she, she's like, goodbye. <laughs> oh, wait, maybe we should go back and try and find Harry. You know, the more <laughs> important one. Follow me. Um, there was a man. Thanks, Harry. There was a man. <laughs> there was a man. I don't know what he looked like, but he may or may not be related to you. Might be important later. You guys might also be in the same Harry, uh, Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Who episode. Maybe. Maybe about some cyborgs. Two pumpkin pasties, please. They like really just had Harry starstruck the moment he saw her. There but they've gone to school for three years prior together. That You're telling me in three years you haven't seen this chick at all. We don't know because people just come and go in the movies. Are we just supposed to say at 14 is when they start discovering the opposite sex? Yeah. They didn't realize this at 13? Yeah. It could they're be. They're like, ew, boys and girls are gross. <laughs> they have cooties. And then all of a sudden 14 hits and you're like, oh, hello there. <laughs> <laughs> Do they so not have any normal curriculum or are they like taught like, like a sex ed like class? Like a sex ed class? <laughs> I don't know. I don't... <laughs> like... They should be taught name. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, please. I would love to see that. <laughs> Snape teaching a sex ed class. Yeah. That'd be hilarious. Yeah. Snape would just be like the most uncomfortable <laughs> having this conversation <laughs> with anybody. <laughs> Contraceptives. <laughs> Here in the runway. Those seem like not something Why that should you? be in the wizarding world. <laughs> like they should be using like flares with He's their wand. Using giant ping pong paddles. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're regular size for Hagrid. Oh, sorry, sorry. Reg like, <laughs> yeah, ping pong handles. This castle will not only be your home. This oh, freaking Filch! <laughs> He's getting his steps in. This one, like with Filch, kills me. He's just. They really just made him the comedy character. Yeah, I think they had to kind of like ease up a little bit on him being such like a hard ass for everything. Yeah. <laughs> What Why does he run? have to run? <laughs> <laughs> the Tri Wizard Tournament. Seems like a real plot convenience, I must say. <laughs> We're doing this tournament because plot. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are putting scorch marks into the floor. <laughs> Phil's just not going to be happy. No. This is all very close to Dumbledore. Why is this necessary? This is just way too much for an entrance. Like, well, it, like someone just kick the door in and scream troll in dungeon and just call it. Like, that's enough. <laughs> it's like their Olympics, right? So they have to do their opening ceremony. I guess. Well, Olympics for children? It's like a freaking Hunger Games right now. Yeah. that's This is why it's messed up. <laughs> the door that no one ever seems to use until this very moment. Yeah, where does that door go? I think they go through it in this movie. But for those of you at home who are really wondering, no, you can't access that door in Lego Harry Potter. Oh. I've tried. <laughs> I've tried. I thought it was an extra room and they're Christina's like, trying to no. rewrite the code to get in. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty small considering how big that thing was. Yeah, right? And like the exterior was more bedazzled than the actual yeah. cup. <laughs> the the cup's, cup's just, just normal. Like, yeah. <laughs> With special effects floating out of it. You know, for a goblet, like... <laughs> Cedric Diggory! Oh, is this the plot twist? Is that, like, Voldemort quote-unquote kills him, but, like, doesn't kill him, turns him into a vampire. <laughs> and then he becomes Edward. Harry Potter! Come on, Harry. Harry, for goodness sake. Did you put your name <laughs> in the goblet of fire? This is important. This scene's important. <laughs> Everyone's so mad. Doesn't even go here. They don't even know. Like, why are they mad? I protest. Harry. I protest. Harry, you put your name on the cover. <laughs> Did you put your name on the cover of fire? <laughs> it's on me. <laughs> <laughs> the rules are absolute. The goblet of fire constitutes a binding magic. How do? How are they not able to overturn this? Like, it clearly breaks the rule that there can only be one champion per school. So it's all. And there's an age limit too. Yeah, like it's already breaking two rules regardless of the fact his name came out of it yo what's the next mixtape <laughs> <laughs> we got a band over here he's your band i love it <laughs> you're being stupid yeah that's me wrong ways like harry potter stupid you're telling me in the four years that they've known each other they've never had a spat 
and they've never had to like work through an argument yeah i mean usually they're in like situations where they could both die so i feel like petty arguments aren't usually <laughs> yeah but i mean priority. even like in like because you still have like downtime right like you're doing classes and all of that like you're telling me like they'd have never disagreed on something before no <laughs> hey my eyes aren't glistening with the ghost of my past i mean good for harry being able to read upside down from a distance and it being really fancy cursive small print writing and him having his glasses that break all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit of a hike to the Owlry. It really is. It is also very hard to find it in Lego like, Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah. P.S. Ah! The bird bites. That was rude. Sirius warned him. At the last second. Yeah. Literally the last the second. Postscript. I'm gonna pet. <laughs> I'm gonna pet the bird. Oh no! Just kidding. <laughs> oh yeah. Just so you know, Harry the bird bites. Oh well, no. Sh Really? Well, Sirius didn't know. He couldn't have possibly timed that, could he? <laughs> he totally timed it. <laughs> it was on purpose. <sighs> Sirius. They changed the design uh, for this in yes. the later ones, and I like this one so much better because the other one's just like his face. It's like a projection, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like a like definitely more special effectsy. Whereas this one's like his face is literally coming. It's in the fire. It's in the coals. It, the, the way that they did this is like super cool. Yeah. And like, yeah, the other one's a bit boring. Mm -hmm. Like you have to stick your face into the fireplace to make it work. <laughs> yeah. It's like those things where you push your hand in. Yeah. I was just yeah. thinking that you push your hand in and like molds it. Yeah. <laughs> Sirius is the only one that tells Harry vital information and... It's always in a really rushed effort because yeah. we don't get a lot of screen time between Harry and Sirius. But at least Sirius puts in the time. He's on the run. Dumbledore is just hanging out in his office right now. <laughs> Eating sweets. Yeah. Dean was told by Pavati that... Hagrid wants to see you. For some reason, Hagrid couldn't tell you himself. Also, why is Hermione going along with this? I feel like she would call Ron out. What's with the flower? Hagrid, have you combed your Even in like the effort that Hagrid wanted to put gel on, he concentrates it just in the front. <laughs> yeah, he gels just the, the very forehead portion yeah. of his hair and then puts a flower on and then he just fusses about it. <laughs> very dapper. He didn't bother brushing his hair nope. or grooming his beard. Just clumped it on. I think he borrowed the hair gel from Draco. <laughs> Draco's like, I'm no longer using this. I'm going to throw it out. And yeah. then Filch confiscates it. Hagrid's like, oh, what's this? And Filch's like, oh, this is Draco's hair gel that I went to throw out. He's like, okay, I'm going to take it. Okay, bye. <laughs> Special occasions and all, you yeah. know. <laughs> Can we get closer? Where's Charlie? Like, Charlie's always the one that's, like, mentioned, but never actually casted. Yeah. It, it wouldn't have been that hard to just have a redhead be there, you know? There's a lot of redheads out there. <laughs> what was he doing there? He's just lying across that bench. <laughs> yeah, with his groupies? Yeah. And one girl. Is that his girlfriend? We don't know anything really about Cedric. What? What do you mean? He was, he's, he's been there the whole time. He's a nice boy. Very well put together. Looks like he go to like Eaton or something like that. <laughs> Looks like a vampire. I mean... Oh, wait, what? No, sorry, uh, she has one of those. Why so tense, Potter? My father... Why Potter. are you in a tree right now? <laughs> uh, crab dared me. <laughs> Literally, they're all just standing around. Drago's up there Who are the, the other two goons now? We got some new... Some noobs? And yeah. then they're gonna be in this one scene and that's it. Where? What happened to the other guy? Where is Blaze? Wouldn't even bother telling you what's in there. No one bothered. Like, Dumbledore's like, oh, yeah, this chest that moves is, yeah, it's fine. You don't need to open it. Yeah, it's all good. It's not like we've had trouble with Defense Against the Dark Arts teachers in the past or no, anything. No, not at all. Not at all. Mr. Delacour, over here. Mr. Crumb. But why did he have to rearrange them in that order? Yeah, why yeah, Why can't they just stand wherever they want yeah. to stand? <laughs> the Hungarian horn tail. But it's so cute. Little cutie. <laughs> <laughs> you picked a good one, Harry. It's so a little cute, cutie. Cute and teeny. <laughs> Like, is there no plan in place in case this happened? Yeah, I was just thinking, like, is there no, like, perimeter of being like, okay, like, this is the bubble that they have to stay in? Like, you're working with a live 
untrained <laughs> dragon that is now all, essentially off leash. Yeah. Just flying around the school. Just, just flying around the school, damaging the school. Yeah. Like, there's no... Th that's fine? And what? Is everyone in the stadium just sitting there and be like, wonder what Harry's up to? Yeah, what, <laughs> I, I wonder where they went. Like, are they good? And the people that didn't go that are still on campus are like, why is there a dragon outside <laughs> my window? <laughs> All right, everyone. He's like, oh, I actually want to come party with you guys now. Please. Well, no, I am now sorry, <laughs> but will not say sorry. I won't just act like nothing happened. I reckon you have to be barking mad to put your own name in the Goblet of Fire. There's come another on. ginger in the background. That's not a Weasley. Doesn't exist. Don't believe it. Look at that kid. Can't be. It's a lie. It's a ginger kid. <laughs> with like a regular Hogwarts hoodie. Yeah. They, that's like that's, that's just fan wear. That's yeah. not that's not campus wear. That's a fan hoodie. Yep. This is a Harry's real, looking at you. This is a good Harry moment. Same. <laughs> um. Yeah. That same. Him. The U ball. For what? Well, let's transition with the biggest gramophone ever made. <laughs> and I don't know how it's standing up and not falling over. <laughs> it looks so heavy. Look out, Mrs. Norris. <laughs> She could probably fit inside of it. Yeah. <laughs> I think this is nice to He's add. breaking in his shoes. I think that's nice. <gasps> Neville. Well, Hermione. Oh, girl. But, like, I feel like there would have been some person that asked Harry. So Yeah, someone would have had to ask Harry. But, like, at the same time, it's also, like, why... Do you wait till the last possible second? Like it is like, I agree with Hermione. It is insulting. Yes. To be like your last ditch effort. Yeah. Like expecting that somebody wouldn't have asked. Or in like implying that no one had asked her. Yeah. Or and any female to, in that regard. Like, but I mean like, wh where, where, why is it that the guy always has to ask the girl? Like the girl should ask, like can also ask. Look, you've just got to grit our teeth and do it. I think this is also one of my favorite scenes because Snape is just so into it. <laughs> I love it because you get to see a little bit more of a fun side to Snape and it's not like he's trying to be funny. It's just hilarious because yeah, he's so serious all the time. It fits the character though really well. Yeah, yeah. Harry. Oh, this is so nauseating, honestly. <laughs> I don't ship these two at all. I just, like, would have liked if they had talked ever. Well, exactly. Like, why? Like, okay. Everyone thinks that it's super romantic that you give, like, these, like, whimsical glances across the room. You're like, you can totally read my mind. Like, I'm totally into you. Like, let's do something. Like, let's hang, like, on a date <laughs> or something, right? And then it's like, they just expect that to, to work. Reality, it doesn't work. They just think that you're like, yeah, okay, they're kind of cute, but, like, yeah, you're I just, can't be bothered. You don't know anything about them. Exactly, you gotta talk to the person. Harry's where did Harry, toothbrush? But where did Harry get his robes from? He just purchased them. Did he purchase them or did yeah. he get them from Sirius? No, I think he bought them. Instead of like uh, online shopping, they get owl deliveries. <laughs> so probably just wrote like I need this, gave it to an owl, and he got it in the mail. Maybe McGonagall got them for him. Hogsmeade's got to have like a dress store somewhere. You would like think. Shop. Well, because I mean, you're not going to Diagon Alley to like get extra school like uniforms yeah. and stuff, right? Like they had to have a shop in Hogsmeade or a way of getting like well, emergency <laughs> uniform stuff out to them. Yeah. So fun fact, Daniel Radcliffe was actually absent from the dance practices because he was, I think, doing another project. Yeah. So he is legitimately panicking <laughs> for the scene. Great. He does not know what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> he was given like a real quick crash course and like, oh no, it'll add to it. I just gone to go and get drinks. She can't join. I think the fact, like, it's a dance. And you. yeah, as much as it is about like, I'm here with a date. You're socializing with your friends as well. Yeah. Why isn't it like <laughs> Hermione hanging out with her her classmates? Like she has friends aside like aside from uh Harry and Ron. But we never see her we always just see her by herself. I think they're kind of codependent to be honest. I don't know <laughs> how many friends they have outside of the trio. <laughs> 
So they can do the magical flash of green in his eyes, but they can't do his eyes green. That's a lot harder to do. <laughs> that is a fancy bathtub, and I'm so here for it. This is an egregious bathtub. It's huge. It's huge. You could have a pool party there. Yeah. Must be out of my mind. Harry, why would it make a difference that you're in the bathtub? <laughs> Yeah, to go the to the in. bathroom, <laughs> have a bath, but not put the egg in the bath. You seem a little tense, Harry. Do I? Why would I be tense uh. mere moments before another task? Who could have guessed it? Oh my god! I've killed Harry Potter! Well, Neville did Neville. what Voldemort could never. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they should hire um, Neville to be part. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Finish your thought, but they should hire Neville <laughs> to be what? <laughs> to be um, Voldemort's right here. Yeah. The whole hiring process? Yeah, you gotta hire him. Have Lucius an interview. Conduct the interview. <laughs> <laughs> and why do you think you're qualified for the position to be the assistant of the Dark Lord? Well, well, I already <laughs> killed Harry Potter, so I think that qualifies me in and of, and of itself. Yeah. <laughs> It's too bad that three people Harry cares about could potentially die in this situation. Yeah, right? It's not really fair. <laughs> and this monstrosity. <laughs> yeah, right? Shark head. Ooh, ha, ha. Ugh, ugh, I hate it. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. I hate the Animorph on that one. Oh, uh, yeah, that wasn't good. Ooh, this is a new jacket for Harry. It is a new jacket. Very the same shirt, though. Yeah, it's always the same <laughs> shirt. The same. You know you're getting close to the end when he puts on his, 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 yeah. like, his shirt. Because <laughs> the main events have to happen while he's wearing yeah. it. <laughs> they just bounced off. They're going to go hide under, Dum under Dumbledore's desk. And bite his toes later. And bite his toes later. <laughs> Should clean that mirror. It's a very dirty mirror. I get that they're going for like the rustic aesthetic, but like it's a mirror. It's like, a mirror. You, you gotta, gotta see. <laughs> yeah, you gotta see in it. They look like they're gonna nail uh, yeah, <laughs> a car like car off here. One of those. Uh, you torture. cannot move because you will have spikes shoved into yeah, your face. Geez. Curiosity is not a sin, Harry, but you should exercise. I knew you would look into the mirror, <laughs> Harry. I knew you just would. You have a thing with mirrors Literally. ever since you were a little boy. <laughs> Remember the mirror in your first year? I caught you there. <laughs> All I have to do is look for a mirror and there you are. <laughs> Not something found in your Yo. I want like potions would be my favorite class. I'm horrible at cooking, but I would love <laughs> potions class. Well, it's just like mixing and stuff, right? It would be fun. The only reason I'm bad at cooking or especially baking is because I don't like following instructions. That's literally potions, though. <laughs> I know! That's why I think it's funny. That potions <laughs> would be my favorite subject, but like, I'm garbage at reading instructions. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, this works. Next thing I know, I blow my eyebrows <laughs> off. <laughs> Veritas serum. Introduction to Veritas serum. Not important for this film. No. Nope. Will be for next film. I mean, it's in this film. Well, like, once. Yes. At the end. <laughs> yes. That's it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> More important next film. <laughs> Could at any point a contestant wish to withdraw? All right, we're getting into the final act here, and it's the rest of the movie. <laughs> yeah, there's, there, yeah, it's from here, it's just boom, 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 movie yeah. done. That's it. In the maze. <laughs> What's this little huddle? <laughs> yeah, Dumbo's like, okay, I got my arms around you guys, yeah. but you guys don't need a huddle. I just want to. Want to get nice and the close. Love. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta give it to you straight here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Break it down. Harry with his hero complex. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. Harry's running shot for the film. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely like there's monsters throughout the maze in the book. Oh, so it's not as like simple for lack of words. Like, because like this, I think, is fairly simple. Yeah. They just have to deal with each other and the maze changing. Yeah, but like the maze is purposely changing to make sure Harry gets to where he needs to go. So then hindsight wouldn't have been better if Harry had left Cedric. Yeah, like it's Harry. It's like whatever, but it's Harry's fault technically, which is why he carries that guilt with him throughout like yeah. the rest of the movies. Because it's, he chose to for yeah, them both to take it. Yeah, he could have just just left Cedric. Yeah. 
to the maze. Or even just, like, saved him here and then left him. Because Cedric was like, you deserve it. Yeah. Who are you? What do you want? See, I think in that moment, that's where I would have put Cedric into Gryffindor. Because I don't think a Hufflepuff would have, point blank, stared down Voldemort. Mm. No, but I do think Cedric's supposed to be, like, just very kind. Mm. That's part of why he's, like, it's a tragedy. Because he's so well-liked at Hogwarts. Feel that skin. Ooh. No nose. Ah. No hair. <laughs> oh, look, his nails are so clean and long. Yeah. Must be nice. <laughs> <laughs> you want those thick nails? Long, almond-shaped nails. Yeah. I can touch you. Is no one acknowledging how ripped <laughs> Voldemort is? Wow, okay. <laughs> That's what you're getting from this? <laughs> Yo, okay, do you remember in, like, the final when he's, like, he had... I don't know, in the fifth one when he has his hands up and he's, like, like he's doing his spell or whatever and his sleeves come and you just see his, like... Oh, his, boy. Like, why is Voldemort... Oh, jeez. Why, why is this Why is this a thing? <laughs> you scream, I scream, you yeah. scream, I scream, I scream! <laughs> like, is he mocking <laughs> him? Like, <laughs> I think he's just having a sick, like, pleasure out of it. Yeah. We bow to each other. Come on now, Harry. The niceties must be observed. Dumbledore. Voldemort's kind of theatrical. Because it's Ray Fiennes. He's a the theater actor. But still, like, in the flourishing sense. Yeah. It's like, it's been an age since I've been able to put on a show. Yes. <laughs> you guys make the popcorn and the drinks. I'll get the entertainment started. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> if you weren't talking so much, Voldemort, you would have already finished him off. Yeah, honestly, I think that's, like, one of Voldemort's flaws. Is he just talks way too much. It's the theater kid in him. Yes. He wants to do a whole monologue. So he's only killed two people since he's killed Lillian James then, if you go well, by this. Yeah, because he was on the back of Quirrell's head. <laughs> well, it's yeah. what, uh, his wand. Uh, his wand. <laughs> MVP, Amos Diggory. Oh. Did we circle back? Yeah. Heart-wrenching performance. But damn, every time it hits you. Because it's just such raw emotion. How does Harry trust anybody? Like, every yeah, honestly. year. <laughs> I mean, Lupin wasn't bad, so, like... But he still lied to him. Yeah. Lupin should have been up front. I was friends with your dad. Runs within the Dark Lord. <laughs> Sniffs. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> blood. <laughs> Maybe he's the vampire. <laughs> <laughs> I must bite Cedric. Ah, nom, 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 nom. That's moody, but then who's... You know that from smelling it? He is the potion master. He will hear it. Will be. <laughs> well, there you go. In order to get the title potions master, yeah. you must be able to tell what potion it is based off of smell. And smell alone. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing it's not color, because I feel like there's yeah. too many that are the color. I never liked these curtains. Does Dumbledore ever go to the Fire common rooms? Does now. Yeah. <laughs> just for Harry. I'm, uh, I'm making one-on-one -on -one visits to meet with all of my students. <laughs> just want to know, how was your year? <laughs> can I get some feedback, please? <laughs> yeah, how can I improve for next year? <laughs> I la always, like, enjoyed these one-on-ones. Like, Harry and Voldemort. <laughs> Voldemort. <laughs> uh, Harry and Dumbledore. Yeah. Goodness me, I'm tired. Um, But they don't happen a lot. And yeah. when they do happen, you're always hoping for this, like, revelation <laughs> yeah for that like harry to learn something new or to build a better relationship with dumbledore but it rarely happens like the fifth year he ghosts him the entire time mm -hmm. and then come the sixth one it's like they're supposed to be buddy buddy and they're not and they're like really harry's like i know everything there is to know about dumbledore and then it's like he doesn't realize until the seventh one where it's like i did not know him at all yeah He's like, but I thought I knew him. No, no, you didn't. Literally don't know anything. <laughs> I don't think he even knew his full name until he said it in court. <laughs> I think we'll ever just have a quiet year Hogwarts. What was that? Yeah. <laughs> Why did he do that? Why can you jump through it or like do it a bit more gracefully? <laughs> Picturesque finish. Yeah, that's how we're ending this one. Goblet of fire. Goblet of fire. Done. <laughs> that's it <laughs> we're, uh, we're halfway now we're halfway yeah we are halfway now officially halfway yeah like i 
for some reason feel more favorably to that one than I was expecting. The movie? Yeah. I was just like, yeah. It was good. You enjoyed it more than you thought you would? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like, it's nice to take a little break away from, like, we're going to class and, like, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, if you think about it, they only really had one scene that was a classroom scene, mm -hmm. and that was with Mad-Eye, and you were learning the unforgivable curses. Yeah, they pack a lot of information into this one. Like, mm -hmm. they introduce a lot of big players moving forward, and just, here's a lot of exposition, Voldemort's back. Like It's, it's, it's definitely, like, a lot of setup mm -hmm. to move into the fifth one, because there's a lot that gets covered in the fifth. And then everything from there just is put into motion. Yeah. And it just all plays out six through set through eight. Yeah. So it's like they have a very small window to get a lot of information in mm -hmm. so that you can just enjoy the last three films. Yeah, this is almost like the main story is starting now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's all been set up until this yeah. point. <laughs> it's like watching three seasons of a show and then it's like now we're yeah, starting the actual like, oh boy <laughs> like if you had to do arcs it's almost like first and second year is the little baby arc third one's its own little thing and then we're going into like the final stretch. yeah you got like the spike up and it's like yeah. and go straight <laughs> across <laughs> we had dances we had baths that were big big bathtubs goals right there <laughs> <laughs> just even though the ending's like one of the sadder ones mm-hmm they did add levity throughout the movie, at least. Yeah. So it's not too much of a downer overall. <laughs> I was gonna say, was, I was gonna comment on like how we didn't have Quidditch this year, but you technically did because you had the tournament at the uh, very beginning, but it doesn't really count because it wasn't like a yeah. Slytherin versus It was like Gryffindor. a broom scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it didn't really show like the actual game. They're like, and the game begins. Yep. <laughs> Fire everywhere. <laughs> it's just like- <laughs> They have to get through it. There's a lot. Gotta, gotta keep rolling through. Yeah, yeah. But they did kind of take like good moments here and there to kind of like slow it down a bit. Yeah. Like I still think like the the scene, like the teaching scene with uh, Mad Eye yeah. and the class, like that was very well done. Yeah, that gives a lot. Of it information. gives you a lot of information, <laughs> um, but it's very important information, and it helps to fill in some of the blanks from like the past and that. Yeah, and it kind of like slowly catches you up to how bad things were. And how much worse they're going to get. Yeah. <laughs> Moving forward now. But there were also like a couple moments where like this wasn't necessary. Like yeah. Hermione is in it, but not a lot. Yeah, the like th three of them, it's not really as much focus on them. Mm hmm Like almost at the end it was kinda like they were coming together for the first time in a long time. Yeah, yeah. They were very separated. Well, I think they one. would because oh, like, Harry was in a tournament and they were yeah. <laughs> it, it wasn't like feel. the last ones where they did all like the final yeah, like the big, the big things together yeah whereas this one was like harry did it all himself yeah that, so, like, that was a change of change of events yeah but yeah overall it was good mm -hmm. well you i think that your thoughts out <laughs> i got i got my thoughts out girl just you wait and then i got more thoughts coming <laughs> for the next for the few. next ones Kinda. i got a lot of, i got a lot of thoughts Thank you for watching with us. We hope you enjoyed the video. It's been a slice. <laughs> if you want, you can subscribe to see more of our videos coming down the pipeline. The pipeline. That's so weird. <laughs> Sorry, let me take it again. Let us know if there's any TV shows or movies that you would like us to review and give our two cents opinions on. <laughs> and we hope to catch you on the next one. See you later. See ya.